Okay, here is week 23 of Math Dailies, day four. And hopefully you did two of these on one day, um, just so you don't have to do any work on Good Friday. But um, if not, you can just take your assessment whenever you're ready, um, after you've gone over all four days. Um, so in our first box, we have one fifth um, compared with two tenths. It says to, to write greater than, less than, or equal uh, to make the statement true. So I drew a picture to help us um, be able to see this a little better. If we have one fifth or two tenths, look at that, they are the same. And if you'll remember when we were doing our um, fractions yesterday, on day um, three, we had, um, for example, four tenths was the same as 40 one hundredths. And we said to do that, all you had to do was multiply each one by 10. Four times 10 is 40, 10 times 10 is 100, and the fractions would be equal. Well, you could do the same thing here. One times what is two? Well, one times two is two. So then we would have to multiply this by two also. Five times two is 10. So because they, one times two is two and five times two is 10, they are equal because we multiplied both by two and got the same answer, the same number. If you were say comparing one fifth with three tenths, just to give you an example, um, you might say, well, one times three is three, but then five times three would be 15. So one fifth is the same as three fifteenths. That's still, that, that's still not necessarily gonna help you, sorry. So you would have to uh, do the bottom number first. Let's do it this way. Um, and I should have done that here too. Five times what is 10? And then do the top number. Uh, so five times what is 10? Five times two is 10, like we did up here. But then one times two is two. So one fifth is equal to two tenths, which is less than three tenths. So this is how you would do it. If they weren't equal, you would um, figure out make your denominators match, and then you could compare the two top numbers. Um, but anyway, hopefully that kind of makes sense. If not, just don't worry about it. Just look at the top. But they are equal because we multiply both by two and because you can draw it and see that they are the same. Okay, in the next box it says write the equation. Gregory is two years old. His aunt is 12 times his age. How old is Gregory's aunt? So if Gregory is two and his aunt is 12 times older, we would multiply these two numbers. 12 times two, and you probably already knew it, but just in case, two times two is four, one times two is two, and so his aunt is 24 years old. And we did write our equation 12 times two. You need to be sure your equation's on there. Okay, um, next is round 15,454 to the nearest thousand. So find your thousands. And remember, everything after this will become a zero. This number will either stay the same or go up, and this number will stay the same. So we look to the right of this number to decide what to do with this one. Because we already know this is gonna be zero, zero, and this is gonna be one. We're just trying to figure out this one. Well, zero through four hit the floor. So that tells us that five is going to stay the same. So our answer then is 1,000, I mean 15,000, sorry. If we round it. The four is too low to, ch to make this go up, so it stays a five. So 15,000. 
Great, last, the recipe for Ryan's birthday cake calls for three-fourths a cup of flour and two-fourths of a cup of sugar. How many total cups of flour and sugar does the recipe call for? So we just need to add these two fractions. Three-fourths plus two-fourths. Because our not denominators are the same, we just add the top numbers. Two plus three is five. Five-fourths. So you must say, okay, we're done. We have five-fourths cups of sugar and flour together. But if you remember, this is called an improper fraction because the top number is greater than the bottom number. So we know, that, uh, so we need to decompose five-fourths, break it down. Um, we want one of them to equal the bottom number. So let's do four fourths. So we can break five fourths down into four fourths plus one fourth. And the reason we do that is because we know that four fourths is the same as one whole. Remember we talked about it the other day, if you ate four out of four slices of pizza, you ate the whole thing. So four fourths is one. So the answer then is one and one fourth cups. And C period stands for cups. So the answer is one and one fourth cups. Okay, if you don't have any questions about any of these day one through four, you may turn it on the back and do your assessment. Thanks.